Well, praise God. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our program this morning. We are truly honored to have you join us. Thank you so much for fellowshipping with us and thank you for opening the door to your homes to um, partner with us via this broadcast. And we trust and we believe that you'll be blessed. Please feel free to share with us, write to us, tell us where, you, where you're watching us from, connect with us. Uh, the details will be appearing on the screen during the broadcast. Please connect with us. We'd love to hear from you. Good morning, beloved. This morning I would like to read a psalm from, uh, it's Psalm 20. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and, and accept thy burnt sacrifice, Selah. Grant thee according to thy own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in the salvation and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now know that I, the Lord, saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save Lord, let the King hear us when we call. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Wow, praise God. What an awesome psalm. I'm especially touched by verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. We will remember the name of the Lord our God. Amen. And I think it's so important, Pastor Sharon, especially in the times that we face us, uh, that we're currently facing in our lives, so many things happening around us and so many things that we we hear of and mm -hmm. things that we see and you know and, and uh, one thing that is just evident and the Lord has laid it on my heart this morning to share and to speak about mm -hmm. is about the miraculous and you know it doesn't matter wherever you open the Bible to on whichever uh, uh, um, chapter and whichever book you actually open to you always find that there's a mention of numerous events which only God can do. And that is truly the miraculous. The Bible is filled with miracles. And, um, you know, these are accounts that uh, where God, God's intervention um, occurs in the natural. And they are without apology. There's no need for an apology because after all, God created all things. And this is the power of God and the beauty of God that we see working in the lives of His people. And very often I think what happens is um, sometimes, you know, people, yes, we're living in a natural world, but very often we find that people um, tend to separate God from the world mm -hmm. that they think God is you know God is quite uh, God has distanced himself from the world and from what's happening in the world but the truth and the fact of the matter is is that God is actively busy in the world and when we you know um, uh, a psalm that um, that really speaks about God's working in in creation itself is Psalm 104 and I want to encourage our viewers um, go to that psalm, Psalm 104, and read it. It's a beautiful psalm, and it speaks of all that God does. And I want to just pick up with verse number 24. Um, o oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your possessions. Praise God. Now, I believe this is truly, truly awesome. Um, the earth is full of your possessions. Everything belongs to God. And it's so important for us to understand that as humanity, humanity, human beings are the crown of God's creation. And God is so, um, God is so, uh, uh, um, He so longs to, to hear uh, to hear us. He so longs to hear about those desires we have. He longs to hear us share about, um, you know, share about your day. 
Share about your concerns, the things that bother you, the things that trouble you. You know, God is very, very close to you. You can share that with God and He wants to get involved. I truly believe that God wants to get involved and that is the, that is the miraculous. God wants to perform miracles in our lives. You know, I'm just reminded of a portion of scripture um, in Matthew's gospel and I want to read chapter 23 and verse 37. I want to read the latter part of that verse. This is where Jesus laments over Jerusalem. And he says, Oh Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her. I want you to highlight this now. How often I wanted to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but you were not willing. How often? It means that speaks of numerous accounts where God longs to hear us, where God longs to get involved in our lives, and He waits for us to extend the invitation. And it's one thing, you know, when you look at the life of Jesus, wherever Jesus was, the life of Christ is just filled with miracles. Wherever He was, there were miracles. Last week I shared about the water, the first miracle that Jesus performed, turning the water into wine. And um, I love that in John 2, that's found in John 2. And the Bible says this was the beginning and this was the first of the signs that Jesus performed in Cana of Galilee. And being the first, that means that was the first sign. But from there on, there are numerous accounts of what Jesus actually done. And if we look at the definition of a miracle, what the, what the dictionary describes a miracle as, and I want to share that with you, it says a miracle is a natural phenomenon, an extraordinary um, event that cannot be explained by natural or scientific laws and is therefore attributed to a divine agency. It means miracles are divine in nature. They are divine in working. That science itself cannot fully comprehend it, nor can science itself um, fully explain it. We look at, you know, uh, just an example, the account of the, 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 the parting of the Red Sea. Scientists have, for years and years, Scientists have tried to figure out how is it possible. It cannot be explained. And we even find that there were remnants of those chariots found in the depths of the sea, proving that that was an actual event. So that shows the glory of God and the majesty of God in the lives of His people. And this morning, I want to encourage you to go with me to Genesis chapter 18. And... Uh, I know I'm speaking to lots of people out there, and no, no matter what your circumstance is, God hasn't run out of miracles. I believe He has a miracle for somebody out there, in fact, for everybody out there, and it's just wa He's just waiting for somebody that will just respond in faith. Hallelujah. Now, in Genesis chapter 18, we find an account where the Lord appears unto Abraham in, uh, in Mamre. And Abraham, in the heat of the day, is sitting at the um, at the door of the tent uh, at the terebin tree. So Abraham pitched his tent at the terebin tree in Mamre, and he lifts up his eyes and he looks, and there the Lord appears to him. Now this is awesome. I mean, this is God walking on the face of the earth, where God comes to Abraham. And you know, the Bible uh, numerous times the Bible tells us that. Uh, the Lord never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If God could show up to Abraham, I believe he's going to show up to somebody today. I believe he's going to show up in the life of somebody. And this is what happens. Abraham, in the prime of his years, is almost 100 years old. Sarah's 99 years old. And there they are in Mamre, and the Lord appears unto Abraham, and as he comes, Abraham identifies. Immediately his spirit responds, and he, he notices that this is, this is God. And Abraham pleads with the Lord to please, you know, rest there, and let him just refresh himself. And so we find, I want to share with you from verse number 9. Then they, there were three men that appeared unto Abraham, one of them the Lord and two of them angels. We find in chapter 19 
uh, where the angels, these very angels go to Sodom. The chapter 19 mentions two, uh, two angels. But the third person here in Genesis 18 is actually the Lord. So, uh, in verse number 9, Then they said to Abraham, Where is Sarah your wife? And I believe God is asking this morning, Where is whatever your name is? God is looking for you. So God is looking for somebody this morning. Looking for somebody because He has good news for somebody. God has something He'd like to deliver to somebody. And He says to Abraham, Where is Sarah your wife? And Abraham responds and He says, Here in the tent. And He, the Lord said, I will certainly return to you. Wow. I will certainly return to you. When God tells you He's going to return, He's going to return. It's not something that you're going to, you know, I wonder if. There's no wondering and there's no uh, uh, um, uh, guessing. It's definitely going to happen. The Lord says, I will certainly return to you according to the time of life. And behold, Sarah, your wife, shall have a son. You see that? Sarah, your wife, will have a son. Sa now, it goes on to say, Sarah was listening in the tent door which was behind him. I believe the Lord knew where Sarah was, Pastor Sharon. God knows where you're at. And I believe it was on purpose that God mentioned the name of Sarah. Because, you know, being, you know, human beings, being the way we are, if somebody comes to visit you and uh, they are conversing, as soon as you hear your name being said, it actually draws your attention because then you actually pause to hear what is being said about you. So I believe that God knew where Sarah was. And he purposely asked, where is Sarah? And Abraham says, here in the tent. And Sarah, the Bible says, uh, she was listening in the tent door which was behind him. So in other words, God is saying, position yourself where you can hear the word so that through hearing the word, you can believe the word, and through believing the word, you will conceive the word of promise. And not only will you conceive it, but you will receive it. So the hearing of the word is very, very important. So the Lord says, Sarah, will, your wife will have a son. Verse 11 says, Now Abram and Sarah were old, well advanced in age, and Sarah had passed the age of childbearing. So she was well advanced in years. Therefore, Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I have grown old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord, being old also? She's saying that Abraham is so old, and she's past childbearing age. How can she have a child bear a son to Abraham? In Genesis 17, 17 verse 17, we found Abraham falls on his face and he laughs and he says in his heart, Shall a child be born to a man who is 100 years old? And shall Sarah, who is 99 years old, bear a child? Wow. So Sarah laughs and why does she laugh? Because she knew the facts of life. Sarah knew the facts of life. Beyond a certain age, you just cannot hear children. Yes, amen. So, she knew the facts of life, but she was about to discover uh, and be greatly surprised by the one who determined the facts of life. And that is God. That yes, the facts of life may be that you're beyond your childbearing age, but when God steps in, God is the one who orders everything about life. And when He steps in, God can alter it. God can change it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So in other words, what God was doing here, He was stretching Sarah's faith. Mm -hmm. Sometimes your faith needs to be stretched. It needs to be stretched like an elastic. That when you're at your end, but you just keep on believing, no matter how much your faith has been stretched, you just keep on believing because sooner or later, it's like, it's like a little um, elastic that when you... As soon as it's stretched and you leave the one point, it sh shoots back quickly. So that is what happens with the miraculous. That is what happens. You've got to keep on believing regardless of the circumstances, regardless of how long it takes. If God said it, it's going to happen. If God said it, you've got to believe it. 
You got to believe it so that you can receive it. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I surely bear a child since I'm old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? Is anything too hard for the Lord? God is asking that question. He's posing that question to you this morning. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Wow. There is no wonder. Amen. There is no wonder. God, there is no wonder that God cannot do. Amen. There is nothing that is too difficult for God to do. Isaiah 9 verse 6 tells us that he is the wonder working counselor. It means he'll work wonders in your life. He'll work, he'll work the miraculous in your life. Amen. So he's the wonder working counselor. God will work miracles in your life that you never dreamed possible, that you never thought possible. And you know, sometimes we, we can even take it for granted that miracles happen on a daily basis in our lives, Pastor Sharon. You don't know it, that you know, you could be driving on the road and the Lord has saved you from an accident. The Lord has saved you from losing your life. Praise God, that's a miracle. It could be even during this time of COVID, we find that yes, there are many people that are losing their, you know, losing their places of, uh, uh, their, their, their means of income, losing their jobs, and yet there are still people that are, that are receiving jobs and people that are being blessed with jobs and promotions. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've got a testimony I probably I would like to share. Mm -hmm. And um, it's one that we received. I would just like to share this from a sister. And this is from uh, Kanye. And she writes this. Praise God. She says, thank you, Pastor, for your prayers. God is so good. And that's the God we serve. He's a good God. She says, God is so good. He has blessed me with a promotion. Amen. In this time of COVID, she's been promoted. On our last Sunday at church, I was going to the interview and we prayed together, Pastor. You said, I must go and get my job. I got it. God is so good. Amen. You see that when God releases a word to you, you've got to, um, you've got to receive that word. And you've got to claim it and make it your own. It's, this is not a naming, claiming thing. This is, this is you know, God said it. That's the truth. I'm going to go by the truth. I'm not going by the facts. I'm not going by what circumstances are dictating to me. I mean, Abraham, Sarah, they didn't go by what circumstances dictated to them. I mean, Abraham's 100 years old. Sarah's 99 years old. They didn't let that determine whether or not they would, they would, um, uh, they would, they would be with child. So the facts of life are irrelevant. The facts of your situation are irrelevant. God can come through for you. I'm speaking this morning, Pastor Sharon, I just feel it in my spirit. There are people there, you are probably watching this broadcast and you probably feel that you're at the end of your rope and there's somebody, you probably feel that either maybe your marriage is on the rocks or your family is on the rocks. Whatever it is that's on the rocks, if you can place it on the rock, who is Christ Jesus? Mm -hmm. If you can make Jesus the rock of your, uh, uh, the, the rock of ages, your only foundation, no matter what happens, you'll still be standing. Mm -hmm. If you can take that marriage that is on the rocks this morning and place it, build it on Jesus as being the foundation of your marriage, uh, build your business as being as being founded on the rock, which is Christ Jesus. That is the foundation on which you build your business. That is the foundation on which you build your home, build your marriage. I believe that you will stand the test of time. That's the same rock that was in the wilderness and it's that same rock which caused the waters to gush out. That the entire nation of Israel together with all their livestock were they were quenched. The thir their thirst was, was quenched. So much so that they quenched no more. And I believe that when you have Jesus, you have all that you need. And I believe that this morning, Jesus is about to open something to somebody. If you can just come to him in faith, then you can receive. Come and drink from the living waters. Come and drink from Jesus. And I believe you'll be changed. You'll be transformed. Your situation will no longer be the same. There is nothing. We just read it now this morning. There's nothing too difficult for God to do. Amen. 
There's nothing too difficult for God to do. And God will come in for you this morning. God will come through for you this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. In Acts 4 verse 16, we find that when, um, when the lame man was healed, we find that the Jewish leaders were conversing amongst themselves. And they said, a notable miracle, a miracle of note has been worked amongst us. And I believe that there's miracles of note that God will work in the lives of his people today. They are miracles of note. In Acts 19 verse 11, the Bible says that the Lord worked unusual miracles at the hands of Paul. I believe God's about to do something unusual in the life of somebody this morning. God's about to do the unusual for you. God is about to do the notable for you. In Hebrews 2 verse 4, the Bible says, God bearing witness with signs, wonders, and various miracles, various meaning. There's a variety of miracles that God wants to perform in this, in this hour and this very day. Uh, my friends, Friends and family out there, don't be discouraged. God hasn't given up on you. You don't give up on God. You just got to hold on in faith. He's a miracle working God. Just remind yourself of that constantly. I serve a miracle working God. Praise God. There are thousands of miracles recorded in the scriptures. And this is the same God who's with you and I today. He's the same God who wants to get involved in our lives today. So that is that is my word to you this morning. Is that get ready for your miracle because God wants to bring it through for you. God wants to work it for you. But you've got to extend the invitation. It comes from you. It starts with you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, I trust that you've been blessed, Pastor Sharon. I believe there's something you too would like to share. Um, just to build up on what I've shared this morning. Amen. Pastor, that was a wonderful word. And, you know, I don't have much to say because Pastor has really blessed us with the power of miracles this morning. And that's the thing where, where you spoke about, like, the, the Sarah didn't, uh, didn't consider her body a yeah. like biological age mm. because we serve a God who can renew body parts. Amen. And today you may be having lung cancer. Yeah. You may be having a, a situation where you feel doctors have failed. But our God, He can renew things. Amen. We must not take notice of our biological yes. age, our condition, because God can change it. That's why we come. We don't go to chariots and horses. We go in the name of the Lord. Because Amen. our God can change things. Amen. Our God has the power. It is in His name. That's it right. is in that yes. name that things can change. Amen. New miracle, uh, miracles. In the name of Jesus. You know, when Jesus walked on the earth, He done the miracles. Amen. But it's now time that we go in His name. He Amen. left us with the power of His name. Mm. We, we can change things. Amen. We, you know, I never knew that. And now, but I know now, there were times that I wasn't well. But I could speak to those lungs and ask God for new lung tissue. Mm. Because there were times, maybe many of you don't know, but I had lung issues but i thank god that is a god that can renew tissue amen. he can renew your marriage amen. he can renew That's your right. your your age your your you may be suffering with the symptoms of old age and you may be thinking that's enough that's the cutting line but taking note that this is a woman's month a praying woman is a dangerous woman hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. because it's when you can i would like to share from two kings chapter four where it's just a small thing. Mm. Uh, I wouldn't want to go too deep in it. You can read in your own. But it's about the Shunammite woman. Mm. She went. She knew. It says here. And she went up in, in verse 21. She went up and laid him on the bed. That is her son that was sick and, and, and he had died. Mm. She laid the child on the bed and she shut the door. It's time to shut the door. Hallelujah. Amen. It's time when yes. you can call on God and you take authority. In your Hallelujah. prayer you take authority. Mm. That's what God wants today. He wants us to take authority of the name, of the power that he has given us. Mm. And she carried, and then it says, and then she called unto her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the asses that I may run to the man of God and come again. Mm. And it goes on to say that um, as they were going on, she said, then she saddled the, 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 the donkey and said to her servant, Drive and go forward, slack not thy riding except yes. I bid thee. So don't stop. That's what God wants us to do. Close the door, don't stop. That's right. Take authority of the name that was given to us. There is yes, so much the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is so much power in that name. Amen. Because that is why we pastor first read about we do not uh we do not look to horses and chariots. That is the things that we have. Mm. No, we look to God That's because right. God never fails. Things will fail. 
things in life can let you down. That's right. But God, Jesus will never let you yeah, down. That's right. And then, um, if you read on, it says, she said to, when she went beyond yonder is that Shunammite. Run now, I pray thee, to meet her. That is what Elisha said. Run now to meet mm. her. And she, it is well with thy husband. It is well with thy child. And she answered, it is well. Mm. It is yeah. about time we take the faith and we know that we have a miracle working God. Mm. In his name, the miracle is already done. Yes. It is for us to tap into that miracle. Amen. Sometimes Amen. the miracles are just there. Amen. But we just have to tap in. We have to take that miracle That's by right. faith. Yes. That is why... We need to, we need, we cannot neglect the word of God. Mm. We cannot neglect prayer because how else are we going to build our faith? Definitely. There's no other way, but it's by listening to the word of God. Mm. Amen. Amen. And, um, yes, this is another one that I would really like to share. The same verse 27. And she came to the man of God to the hill. She caught him by the feet. Brothers and sisters, that is where we should be today. We as women and men of God, we should be at the feet of Jesus. Jesus because right. at that, you know, you can be busy with everything in life. But you know, if somebody wants to know where you are or where you are in life, you can always tell them, I am at the feet of, Jesus. The feet of Jesus. Because that's yeah. where the power is. Definitely. That's where the, 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 the miracles are. It mm. is at the feet of Jesus. You may wonder, what, what am I saying? This is not literally. This is saying that in your heart, in your mind, you know in your spirit, in your life, you live a life at the feet of Jesus. That is where God wants women mm. also. He wants us at the feet mm. of Jesus. He mm. wants... You know, there's, there's, it is so nice to have men that are praying. But I'm speaking also to the women today. Because the women, as it's still woman, Women's Month, mm. be at the feet of Jesus. Amen. Because there's so much power there. That's where Amen. the miracles are flowing. The miracles are, miracles are there, yes. Yes, Amen. Wow, and that's God. a wonderful um, word, Pastor, that Amen. we can, we, the miracles, God wants us involved mm. in these miracles. That's right. It's because, an interaction, yes, a partnership. Yeah. Because you're wondering why these things are not coming through. But when last did you ask? God says we must ask. Mm. We must tap in. We must take authority. That's we right. must pray. We must not give up. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. God. And we need to tell Satan where it ends. There is a line. The, the line. line is That's there. That's right. Yes. Don't cross that line. Amen. Don't mess. Don't mess with the child of God or, or a man or a woman who is a praying man. Mm. Because God has something there. There is so mm. much power. Amen. There is so much authority that yes. we, we have as children of God. Hallelujah. So we need to tell Satan when it's time to back off. Hallelujah. To back off. Amen. Amen. Don't let Satan limit yes. you. Yes. You limit Satan. Amen. That's how it should be. You yes. dictate to him, not him to you. Yeah. Amen. Wow, praise because God. Because very often also you could have somebody who is sitting with a problem mm. or sitting with something or, or maybe uh, there's a conflict in a, in a family, or there's a marital problem, mm. or there's something. But God wants us to know also, He said, trample on these things. When last have you trampled on it? When last did you say, Satan, that's enough? I trample on you, it's ended. Under my foot, that's it's right. Ended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. don't really think that, it's, mm. that we can actually, we wonder what, how do we end these things. But it's just taking that authority to trample on that thing and that's say, right. no, it's over, it's Amen. done with. Amen. Praise and God. then you believe in it. Hallelujah. And then you confess it and then you you, you don't repray it. You just praise God mm, for it. Amen. Because it is a done thing. It is done. Amen. That's why we, she said, it is well. It is done. Amen. It is over. She praise knew God. there's power. There's power Amen. in the God we serve. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Call those things which be yes, not as though, though they, they are. are. Praise Amen. God. That is the God, God we done. serve. And that could be to you this morning, uh, wherever you're watching us from. Don't, don't go by what you see or what mm. you're hearing. Don't go by your feelings, mm. but go by faith. Mm -hmm. uh, learn from the Shunammite woman. Yes. Shut the door behind Shut the you. Door. Shut the door on doubt. Shut mm. the door on uh, disbelief. Yes. Shut, uh, um, shut the door on rumors too, because I mean, yes. especially in the time we're living in with this COVID-19 mm -hmm. pandemic, there are so many rumors going around, so many stories going around. You've got to shut the door to those things yes. and uh, keep yourself in the Word. Yes, and you let the, you allow the Word to deal with That's that right. because God takes over. It is not yeah. your problem to worry or worry how you're going to deal with, with certain people mm. or certain issues or certain sicknesses or whatever. The, God deals with it. Your problem. problem is to go on That's blessing right. and praising God yes. and loving and loving everyone. Amen. And let God take the situation. When you Praise carry God. the load, there's nothing God can do. Amen. That's right. He wants you to leave it at His feet so Amen. that He can deal with it. Amen. Amen. He wants us free and He wants us 
He's a God that loves worship. Hallelujah. He loves praises. He wants you Amen. praising Him in the midst of the circumstances. Amen. He wants you rejoicing. He wants you happy. Mm. How else is the, is, the, is the power going to work in your life? Mm. Amen. 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 It's Praise when you God. can release everything to God yeah. that God can work mightily in your life. Amen. 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 Praise God. To Amen. God be the glory. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. God does miracles for His glory. Mm. He performs miracles. He doesn't perform it because of us. He performs mm. it that He may be glorified. For Him to be glorified. I mean, even the first miracle that Jesus worked, mm -hmm. it was to reveal His glory. Amen. It's His glory. It's not our no. glory. We cannot take gl no. uh, credit or glory that belongs to God. Yes. And, um, you know, God will not share His no. glory with anybody. Mm -hmm. So when God works a miracle, it is not our glory. No. We give Him the glory. We praise Him for what yeah. He's done. I just shared the testimony with you for that sister. It's to God be the glory yeah, for what yeah, He's yeah. done. I mean, um, just about, was it three weeks ago, Pastor Sharon, we received a word, actually a call from uh, a sister that's in her 70s. Mm -hmm. In her 70s. And uh, she was diagnosed with COVID-19. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, a woman in her 70s diagnosed with COVID-19 with uh, comorbidities as well mm -hmm. and uh, we couldn't we could hardly hear her voice and we prayed with her and we said to her all right you just don't don't listen to what's happening around you mm -hmm. shut off from that mm -hmm. and we prayed with her we yes. prayed for shut her and um, daily we, we 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 just fed her with the word we just kept her with you received. know ministering ministering yeah. the word to her and she kept on receiving yes. the word and about 10 days later the woman phones us back and uh, you could hear her she this time a lot better amen. yes amen praise god she just shared with us she said pastor i feel so much better the only problem i have is a bit of the tummy and we said well praise god god has already started working yeah. god is busy so um, rest assured god is going to finish this work and three days later she calls us back and you could hear her voice fully recovered amen fully recovered and that's a woman in her 70s and I mean, that is, that is a miracle. And that's that the thing, is God. And that's the thing, Pastor. Yeah. We may think 70 yeah, or 80. That's right. But who told you? If you didn't know numbers, would you wonder why your age is 70 or 80? The thing is, mm. people concentrate on age and on death. But yeah. God wants us to live a, a good life. Amen. We, we, we're too focused on death. We're too yeah. focused on sickness. That's when right. we let go of that... We will live long. Amen. We will live a long and healthy right. life. Yes. Because God wants us to live to 120. Praise God. God yes. wants us to live on. There's a scripture in, in Genesis that says He wants us to live to 220. Maybe more. Mm. Amen. Because we don't have to cut our life short. The thing is we only cut it short when we, when we focus on the dark side. Amen. On death. On what Satan wants. Mm. But when we focus on life, we forget. Noah lived to a ripe old age. Why? He focused on life. Mm, we need to focus on life yeah. so it doesn't matter how old you mm. are or how sick you are God can heal you of anything Amen. we're not supposed to put heart, so yes, we, we shouldn't put yeah. limits on our that's age, right. on our health mm. and you know and lock us up that, that, that's it that's, that's where, right. as far as I can amen. go who said so the Lord the said, didn't say that. long life I'll satisfy yes, you. Yes, amen, yeah, amen. amen. So you, you're young today. Amen. You're full of vitality Praise and energy. God. You serve a great God. We're speaking to the 90-year-olds now that are watching us. You're now 16. No, Praise 90 God. is still young, amen. Pastor. Amen. You can go young. on. You yes. go on. Amen. You're as old God. as your, as, 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 as your as spirit ma right. it makes you feel. Mm. But you can be in your 120 and full of life. Because if you want, you can be 120, but serving the Lord and having something to look forward for sharing the gospel. Mm. God will keep you. That's he keeps right. a man and a woman that Amen. wants, that has a work for him. That's right. Yeah. Don't let the work stop. Never. Don't let the work stop. Don't Never. retire, refire. And yeah. share That's the right. good news. Of, and pray for everyone because we know we don't answer no prayers. God answers prayers. That's so right. you could be praying for your enemy. Yeah. You don't answer no prayers. That's we don't right. answer prayers. It is God. When God looks for, when people look for you, they shouldn't say, I'm looking for pastor so-and-so. Mm. I'm looking for, oh. for, for, for that man, that man of God. The old, old, I'm looking for Jesus in that person. They, right. they must see something about God mm. in us. That's we right. must give, our life should glorify God. Amen. Amen. That's right, yes. <laughs> I don't have, have, I don't have a message to give, yeah. but I thank God that, you yeah. know, what I'm sharing is, is, is just from my heart. Mm. It's, it's sharing that something that I live by, knowing that age shouldn't determine your 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 future mm, yeah because we serve a loving god amen we at his feet amen 
At his feet there's Amen. no worry. This is a living, this is a living Amen. word. It's a living book. Yes. And um, like I shared, it's real. Life yeah, is real. Yeah, yeah. Wherever you go, Amen. there are miracles. And this is real this life. Is, this is life. Yeah, yes. yeah. Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Well, praise Amen. God. Awesome. <laughs> Amen. Well, we just give God the glory, the, Lord. the honor, and the praise this Amen. morning. And um, yeah, just focus it's, on life. It's just so good life. to share to somebody else that may just be feeling. You know, hopeless. Yeah, yeah. But there is hope. There Don't is. give up. Amen. There is hope. To somebody that may be feeling hopeless, there's hope today. Look, look for the feet of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Look for his word. Stay there, abide there. Jesus mm -hmm. comes to woman. He always he'll come to you in your prayer. Mm -hmm. He will answer your prayer. Mm -hmm. He looks for you. Amen. Amen. He comes to, to men Amen. of God. He comes to children. He comes to the elderly. He's a God with limit, unlimited boundaries. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm reminded of Mary and Martha. Yeah. It's all your positioning. Where yes. are you positioned? Are you, are you, too, are you busy? too busy for Jesus? Mm. Or are you really at his feet where you should be listening mm. to him? Yeah, you know, you're probably listening to people around you. Cut that forget off. about people and forget about everybody else. Look, everybody has an opinion, but the opinion of God is greater. What God says about my story is greater than what anybody better. else thinks. Amen. And what anybody else says. If you're going to go by yeah. opinions, then you might as well call it. Yeah. Well, if you go by, by opinions, that's your own that's, burial. That's, that's the word you, you're yeah. eating. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to bury are yourself, you basically. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Well, praise, praise God. Lord, we trust and we believe that you've been blessed Amen. this morning by this broadcast. We are truly honored to, uh, to have you in our lives. And we thank God for you daily. Send us your prayer requests. Yes. We pray for you daily. The details are appearing yeah. on the screen. Um, please comment, um, comment, comment down below comment on and the, send us your request, the, your prayer the program request. Below if you subscribe, it, yeah. it's, it's not a charge to subscribe. It is actually free to subscribe. Free to subscribe. And free free to all, share. There's no copyright. But most of all, we would like yeah. to hear from you. So use the comment section to speak to us. Yeah. And share with your friends yes. as well. Yeah. Because yeah. The, you're not alone. Amen. 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 Well, we, praise God. Yes. Amen. I'm going to ask Pastor Sharon to close in a word of prayer this morning Amen. as we pray. Praise Amen. God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Father. Yes, Father. Holy Spirit, we, we, we thank you for giving us word today. Hallelujah. We didn't have word, but God, you gave us word, Father. Mm. You gave us direction, Father. It is only your word, O oh God, that we rely on, Father. Mm. Because your word is truth and us, life, Jesus. Father. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God, a God who Father. speaks. Who's powerful? Who's who? In that name, there's so much power. Mm. In the name of Jesus, yes, there Lord. is so much power. Power, yes, power to unlock yes. that miracle that you're oh, waiting for, yes, waiting yes, and yes, waiting yes, and waiting. Yes, but the miracle yes, is right in front of you. Yes, All you have to do is yes, tap into the into the into yes, the word yes, of God. Yes. Call on the name. Hallelujah. Stay at the feet of Jesus. Oh, yes, Listen yes, to the voice of God. Shut off all other voices, all other opinions. Yeah. The opinion of man don't matter. Yes. It is what the word says Hallelujah. that matters. Jesus. Especially in a time like this. Yes. We rely on the word of God. Yeah. We rely on what God says. Yeah. In everything seek the word of God. Hallelujah. The word of God never fails, brothers and sisters. Yeah. It's a powerful word and it works. It worked for me and it worked for you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, praise God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the love of God, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you and your loved ones, both now and forevermore, in Jesus' mighty name. Well, praise God. Amen. Until next time, this is Pastor Ricardo and Amen. Pastor Sharon saying we love you very much Amen. and uh, we thank God for you. We appreciate you. God bless and goodbye. Love you guys and...